Good morning, church. It's 2 a.m. on Easter Sunday, and I've just finished preparing our video for today. I wanted to let you know that this last week, Chuck Garwood, the worship band, my son Charlie, my daughter Kate, even my dog Scooter and I have all been working really hard at putting together something that we hope is special for our Easter Sunday. The problem is, it's different. It's unlike any other Sunday that I've ever done. It's unlike any other Easter I've ever experienced. And that's because we're in a weird world. Not just the quarantine type stuff and the lockdown stuff in our houses. We're just in a weird world. You see, for the last few years, on Easter Sunday, we've had the highest attendance. We've had great attendance for the last few years. Just with one minor problem. We don't get new people. See, there's something happening in our world today where the people who are already church people will show up at Easter, especially. And then they float in and out throughout the rest of the year, you know, Sunday here, Sunday there. But the people who aren't church people, they avoid Easter. They're not interested in it. They're interested in the candy. They're interested in the eggs. They're interested in the time with family or something like that. And so it's, it's about time we begin to realize that Easter isn't some boring day. Now, one of the things you'll notice in our Easter presentation today is that I'm dressed up more than I ordinarily am. And wearing a suit for me was actually pretty weird. But at the same time, wearing a suit is kind of a normal thing for the thing that we're doing. You see, I believe that we have to try to find some new ways to reach out to people who don't know the message of Jesus, or they've heard it enough that it, it has turned boring to them. I believe it's time for us to somehow make it fresh again. And so for you, I've got something that is just for you, for people who would already say this message is the thing that refreshes them every single year. I wanna to read to you this passage from Luke. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came to the tomb, bringing the spices they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. They went in, but did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men stood by them in dazzling clothes. So the women were terrified and bowed down to the ground. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? Asked the men. He is not here, but he has risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying it is necessary that the Son of Man be betrayed into the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and rise on the third day. And they remembered his words. Returning from the tomb, they reported all these things to the eleven, and to all the rest. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them were telling the apostles these things. But these words seemed like nonsense to them, and they did not believe the women. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. When he stooped to look in, he saw only the linen cloths. So he went away, amazed at what had happened. The description in the Bible is clear. Jesus rose from the dead. Angels testified to it. But every single person who heard the message did not believe it. It's too dramatic. It's too difficult a thing to believe. Sure, there are clothes, grave cloths lying in the tomb, but all that does is make a person amazed. It doesn't necessarily make them a believer. Friends, I believe that we have to get back to the place where we can amaze people, but also to the place where they have some proof. Today's message is not about proof. Today's message is about giving you the opportunity to share something with your friends, to share something with your contacts online, giving you the opportunity to share something interesting 
with people who might not find church interesting. I hope it's fun today. I hope it's fun for you. We've certainly put in a lot of effort. But more than anything, I hope that you are the person who can be the proof to your friends. Listen, they're not going to believe just the message. What they need is they need a person. The people in the first day of the resurrection who finally did believe, believed not because someone told them something. They believed because they saw Jesus themselves. In this day and age, people need to see Jesus in you and in me. And they also should hear something that's amazing. So today, I ask that you would share this morning's message. Share our presentation for you. I hope it's fun for the people that you share it with. I hope it's fun for you. And I hope that as a result of today and the future Sundays, that we would be people who are able to put the reality of the resurrection to work in our lives so that it makes a difference from Monday through Saturday and every week ahead. Thanks for joining me today. Happy Easter. I hope you enjoy what we've prepared for you. Let me pray for us. Lord God in heaven, we ask that you would bless the hard work that's gone into this week and that as a result of today, more people would come to know you. Lord, we love you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.